Well, it's really hard to be bearish this market, as we keep saying. My next SPX target is over 6,000. We have to wait and see what the CPI at jobless claims do and then earnings season. But, uh, you know, as uncomfortable as uh, some this market makes me sometimes, every dip gets being bought and uh, buyers are in control. As far as uh, things I'm watching, Palo Alto, uh, I think this is going to all-time highs. We took the declining top sign break on Monday. Nice fall through volume, looking for 380 next. Um, uh, so I'm going over some trades that we already took, but I think have a tremendous amount of upside. Uh, MSTR, this is going to sound insane. I'm looking for 250, 254 on MSTR. Uh, we're already long uh, MSTR. And then uh, there's a few ones that, uh, that really are catching my eye. Starbucks, I know. Uh, not particularly interesting, but you, you've got uh, office distribution top here. You have a, a sharp reaccumulative consolidation here. Once you get through these uh, large uh, prior order liquidity level here, I'm expecting a move right through 110. Uh, so that one looks interesting to me. Uh, CCL on the on the weekly uh, has a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, technical breakout through uh, 1968. That is uh, fantastic. And uh, I'm expecting a full uh, seven to eight dollar measured move off the breakout level. Uh, Robin Hood uh, on the daily. This one's been fantastic. We've been all over this one. You have an inside bar breakout there, a three bar play, whatever you want to call it, through 25 and a quarter. Uh, it looks great. NTNX already started to go, but I think they're going to fill this gap into the uh, you know, about the 71 handle. Um, Chewy, the problem with Chewy is that it hasn't yet started to go volume wise, but uh, I like Chewy back to 40. Uh, and what else do we have? Uh, EPD. This is more of a longer term type of uh, trending uh, base breakout. But uh, yeah, EPD, air products and chemicals. Uh, this thing has about a $100 measured move in the making here. It, it looks great. So uh, there's a lot of stuff to trade every day, intraday, and a lot of swings. Finally, my top pick of the week. Uh, on Sunday was the tweezer bottom on Snowflake uh, right here. This is it's, uh, it's almost technically a perfect tweezer bottom through um, through 117 monthly breakout. Uh, we we did a like a just get a whopper attack on this uh, bull wedge today for some continuation higher. The room is still long, and uh, I, I I think this is the the big monthly breakout we've been waiting for on Snow. I know Derek's been watching this one too. And I, I see this thing yeah, giving us a move to the 130s, maybe 130s looks really good.